Hi, everyone, and welcome back. The period for declaring candidacies for both the November ballot ended Friday with several races, including city councils in Plymouth, Ione, and possibly Sutter Creek, and two seats on the Amateur Water NC Board of Directors. The period for declaration of candidacies ended Friday, August 10th. Incumbents had until August 10th to file their declaration of candidacy, and several seats around the county had office holders who did not file for candidacy, which created a five-day extension of the filing period. And that filing period ends Wednesday, August 15th. In Ione, Councilwoman Andrea Bonham did not file her candidacy, extending the filing period. And those filing candidacies included incumbent Councilman David Plank and challengers Dale Hanley and Patrick Wart. An election technician said Oral Custer also took out the candidacy filing papers, but had not returned them as of 5 p.m. Friday. I own City Clerk Janice Travasso filed for re-election, and City Treasurer Sharon M. Long did not file for re-election, meaning that position race has an extended filing period until Wednesday. James Nevin filed his candidacy papers for Ione City Treasurer. Nevin is a member of the group Voice in Ione, which led a failed recall election against Plank in February. Haney was a certified replacement candidate on the recall ballot. Four people have filed for Plymouth City Council, while incumbent councilman woman Patrick J. Shackleton has not filed for re-election, making a race in Plymouth on the November 6th ballot. Plymouth Councilman John Colburn and Councilman Greg Baldwin file their candidacies and face a runoff for three seats with Hendrick Hershevart. Peter Taylor and Jack Jason Ralphs, Gary Colburn, also took out papers but had not filed by Friday. City Treasurer M. Susan Hatley also declared her candidacy unopposed, as did City Clerk Gloria Stoddard. There will also be a race for three seats on the Sutter Creek City Council as Councilman Gary R. Wooten has not filed candidacy. Those who did file are Mayor Pro Tem, Councilwoman Sandy Anderson, and Councilman Tim Murphy, who faced Robin Peters, currently a Sutty Creek Planning Commissioner in the three-seat race, unless no one else files by Wednesday. Official nomination papers for eligible candidates to file for any of the elective offices may be obtained from city clerks or the county elections office. Non-incumbents may file nomination papers by 5 p.m. Wednesday, August 15th, in the respected extended races in which an incumbent did not file. Those interested in filing for offices should contact the Election Department at 209-223-6465 for additional information.